I'm really excited. This is the entire middle class team's first time going to Korea in spring, so we can't wait. It's uphill. It's an uphill slope. This hill is actually located right by the sea. We are hiking up to a field of canola flowers. Spring is upon us, everybody! <laughs> For a change of scenery, we've come to this beautiful forest that has an array of really tall trees. So very quiet and green. And even though it's raining, the leaves protect us, so a lot of the water doesn't really come down to this level. In an amazing turn of events, the weather cleared up. And look, it's beautiful. The blue skies and the sun is absolutely on point. The roadside is completely filled with these blossom yellow flowers and all these trees you see here are actually cherry blossoms. It's picture perfect. It is day 5 and our last full day here in Jeju and as I mentioned yesterday, we are currently on our way to the Ocelot Tea Museum. And the actual tea museum is further up ahead, maybe about another 5 minutes drive. And our driver very kindly stopped us at one of their gigantic tea fields. So if you want like a really nice picture, it's just you and nature, then you should definitely come here instead. We are now officially in the Ocelot Tea Museum. You can visit the industry store, the Ocelot Tea Store, the cafe. There are almost 200 people in front of us. We are making a quick detour at the Sokchon Lake. It's forecasted to rain on Wednesday, and when it rains, a lot of the flowers will fall off the trees. We have secured a table at Northern World. It spans two stories. So the first story is the cafe, and the second story is a photo spot area. This is Northern's milk cream donut. It's really good. It's not too sweet, and the donut is like nice and soft. 